right, welcome back, everybody. This is episode three of Let's Talk Phys Ed. I am your host, Jason Steele, and with me, as always, is Tanner Rose. And today's special guest is the 2018 Shape America Elementary Physical Education Teacher of the Year. Oh, yeah. Oh. Sorry. Messed that one up. That's just the sound bite, and we messed it up. <laughs> so, Matthew Bassett. Matthew, how are you today? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me on, guys. Absolutely. Tanner. Yeah, yeah so I'm Tanner Rose, and uh, with us is Matthew Bassett. Today, we're going to talk phys ed, and one of the things we like to do is get to know some of these great PE teachers uh, across our country. Uh, we're going to expand our borders next week, um, but it's great to get to know these people uh, in the classroom and on Twitter, but it's even cooler to get to see them in person and find out a little bit about themselves. So that's our goal for tonight. Jason, take it away. Okay, so Matt, um, 2018 National Teacher of the Year for Shape America. Oh, yeah. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. Um, you know, tell us about the experience that you had. Tell us about what the expectations are of you um, in the coming year for that. Um, it was quite the experience. Uh, it's been good 18 months since this all started for me in California. I uh, was able to get through my California State uh, Teacher of the Year, uh, moved on to the regionals, um, which I think I put it in in September or October of 2017, found out about six weeks, eight weeks later. Uh, and then we went to Nashville, and that was a really great experience. Uh, technically, it was my second national conference. We had one in San Diego many, many years ago. Uh, and I was able to get down to in conjunction with Caperd. And uh, it was really cool because this time I was able to know a whole lot of people through social media. Uh, and I got to meet a lot of amazing people, including uh, who was on your uh, show last week with uh, Captain Pete. Uh, had a real great time. Uh, we had a really large California crew that came out. And just it was really great. It was cool to be out there and to uh, share the experience with so many people that I've met and admired for so long over online. That's awesome. Yes. So you're also uh, involved in uh, elementary physical education workshop. Can you tell us about that? I see that, you know, being from Iowa, I don't exactly know what you're doing out there in California, but uh, sounds cool. Tell me about it. Well, the elementary PE workshop, I think we're on year 48, um, technically. Um, I got started probably, let's see, I think my son is my daughter was going to be born the first year that I was going to go up and uh, realized that the due date was about the same week so I had to push off so uh, I went up about seven years ago the first time uh, it's a week-long summer institute uh, for k-8 physical education teachers uh, but what I found a lot of people is they uh, kind of reflect upon it of oh I don't teach elementary why should I go and I always tell them good teaching is good teaching uh, it's a really nice small group, uh, and we're able to get out there and uh, just share a lot. Uh, we have some really amazing people that come out every year, um, and this year is no different. Uh, and we are able to um, spend a lot of downtime together talking with each other, and that's one of the things that I've really appreciated. Uh, a couple years ago, I was able to sit and talk standard-based grading with uh, Wendy Jones on the sideline of a mm -hmm. session for about an hour, and that was just priceless for me, actually. So, that's great. Uh, yeah. Come on out. It's a lot of fun. I would love to. One of these days. One of these days. Um, so now kind of this is kind of the, the part of the show where if you've seen some of the episodes, if you were one of our uh, 110 viewers on one of the other episodes, um, you, you saw the speed round. Um, and so we're going we're gonna to try to get you to think on your feet a little bit. Now, now, for those of you tuning in, for all four of you who don't know, um, this is, uh, Matt has never seen these questions, so he has no idea what's coming. Um, and we're going to, we're going to try to, uh, to get him here a little bit. Matt, you ready for the speed round? Not really, but I'm going to do my best. But you don't have a choice, right? <laughs> yeah. Because at this point we're not stopping and re-recording. <laughs> okay. So you talked about a little bit, uh, earlier about going to, to Nashville for the, for the national convention. Um, Talk about real quick, were there one or two people you met at Shape Nashville where you just kind of fangirled and you were super excited? I know I wasn't there, so you didn't really have that opportunity, but uh, who, who got you really excited down there? 
that will come soon enough, uh, the three of us meeting. Um, I'll be honest, Pete Charette was the one. Um, oh, I'm sitting there with my phone and we're talking to each other in instant messenger and like Pete's saying, oh, I just got here, where are you? And I'm like, I'm coming over to this part of the, the conference, where are you? And then it was just like this really cool uh, time to be able to see. Um, and then uh, Adam Howell, I was able to bump into him, Sarah Dietra Hartman. Um, the, another person that we actually, two people that we really enjoyed getting to know were the Fulmers, Mark and oh, Becky, absolutely. uh, had a lot of fun, um, just hanging out with them. So those That's are probably cool. some of my better ones. Uh, Patty Cassell was there. I mean, the tech session was really cool cause, uh, we're sitting there doing our little presentations and our big tech section on Tuesday. And we're, I'm seeing people that I've admired on Twitter and I'm literally taking my phone out and going just one second cheese and then just getting back to it so it was really kind of fun that's awesome all right now as the national PE teacher of the year oh yeah i know you're a fan of the uh los angeles angels i saw your son with a shirt on the other day so mike trout leads the league in home runs here's your question where did he play his single a baseball uh, he was actually out at uh, Rancho Cucamonga Quakes. Uh, we actually got a chance to see him play uh, while he was in Class A ball. Uh, oh. My son was about two at the time, and I almost got him to get his autograph before he, he uh, made it to the big league. I'm going to give you credit for that, but the correct answer was he played for the Cedar Rapids Colonels, which he wasn't the most famous person in Cedar Rapids. Jason has played on that field before, and he's significantly more famous. Not played on the same field. Not at the same time, obviously, uh, but did play on that field a long time ago. So pretty I cool. tried to trip you up. You got a good answer. He got Sorry, you I, on that one. You, got you know, you. the Quakes are a good 30 minutes away from me, so we were able to get there, and he was there for a little while. So, Yeah, we didn't have trout very long. Okay, so you teach in an outdoor space 95% of the time. If you could – uh, recreate or if you could design your ideal teaching uh, space tell us real quick uh, 15 20 seconds what would that look like I would love indoor space something big something open uh, it gets kind of brutal having 90 degree days for four or five months of your teaching year and Almost. trying to motivate kids to move in 90 degree heat right. while it's in the afternoon yeah absolutely all right. So what was the biggest takeaway for our national teacher of the year? Oh, yeah. uh, while you did your national board certification. Oh, national boards is grueling. Um, it took me close to three years from the beginning till I actually certified. Uh, the big thing about it, I kept hearing Dr. Sue Wilkinson, who was helping me, Terry Drain also, who you probably both know, uh, how do you know your students are learning? And that question drove me up the wall because we assume that there's a lot of things that we do in our profession and national boards makes you really think about that. And so the reflection process was pretty vital. And that's something that I still, even though I don't have to do it as formally as I did there, uh, it's something that I have done a lot of over the years since then. That's pretty tough. Yeah, absolutely. So it really just kind of makes you, makes you sit back and think, yeah, it's, you know, one of my uh, components that I had to turn in, I really didn't feel it was the best component, you know, teaching wise, but through the reflection process, that's what they were looking for. So even though it wasn't uh, your top of the line lesson, it was still a good reflection and I did okay on that part. So uh, sure. I actually scored higher in that than I was expecting to. Awesome. Perfect. Um, besides teaching, Tell us your ideal dream profession. Uh, I'm a big Disney fan. Um, so I could see myself at some point becoming either a monorail driver or a jungle cruise skipper. Uh, corny jokes included. Um, oh. But I think my next stage is maybe trying to work with some college students, uh, getting them prepared for the workforce and Absolutely. To push our profession to the next level. For sure. All right. So why is our national teacher of the years? Oh, yeah. Twitter handle at phys ed apps. Uh, I think that went back to, uh, I was getting my master's degree and finishing up in 2014 and I had to build a website for um, 
integrating technology into physical education, but teaching teachers how to use it. So I created a bunch of videos for each of the apps that I had found um, to help people understand, here's how you use it, here's what you could use it for, kind of giving background information. Uh, and my idea at the time was to kind of keep with that moniker and to use that as a way to maybe down the line kind of continue with that website. Um, I'll be honest, I don't think I've looked at that website since that uh, two months of excruciating pain. Uh, so I uh, just, I signed up on a whim finally. Um, I always looked at Twitter as a way to, didn't want to get on because I didn't care what the Kardashians were doing. Um, and I finally jumped on right before I graduated in 2014 and have never looked back at that point. Just kind of shoot myself in the foot of why didn't I do this earlier? Yeah, perfect. Good answer. Okay, so you're you're into uh, building Legos a little bit with the family, okay? What's the last Lego build you did with your family? I uh, just got a Star Wars Lego with my son a few weeks ago. I was walking through the aisles at Walmart and found a Lego set on uh, clearance. Um, it was from the Freemaker series, which I haven't watched yet. And it's this tri-wing thing. It looked kind of cool. And... Of course, my son gave me the rundown of what it was all about on the way home. I'm like, oh, it's a bad guy ship. Oh, okay. Oh. But it was pretty cool. I, I can't tell you what it was called, but it's got a little Emperor Palpatine. And it had, I, what sold me was it had uh, one of the droids from Hoth, you know, the one that Han and Chewie shot up. Mm -hmm. uh, it has one of those is in the kit. And so I was really like, that's the coolest thing is that little droid. <laughs> that little droid. <laughs> That's a minute and a half to put together. The other one's probably something like six hours. I don't know. I couldn't yeah. do it that way. All right. So my question is, think about the SP chat team. And I'm wondering who wins in a hundred meter foot race. Is it uh, Rich? Is it Ryan? Stephanie? Sarah? Is it Ross? Is it Matt? Or is there a national teacher of the year? Uh, I'm going to go out on a limb and say it's probably either Stephanie or Ross. Oh, you think it'd be close? Yeah, I think it could be. So. I think Steph might get the uh, distance in, and that might be where Ross takes her. So that's, okay. that's where my money would be on, yeah. Okay. Uh, I used to be fast. I got old and slow. <laughs> that happens to everybody. That happens. That's, that'll start to happen. Hey, you made it through the speed round, Matt. Round of applause. Awesome. Thank you. Um, and and uh, that's kind of the show for the week. Um, I know Tanner had a few things he wanted to talk about at the end. So Tanner. Yeah. Uh, I see you with the uh, SP chat all the time and I want you to uh, go ahead and promote it if you want, just let everybody else know what it is and what to expect. Yeah. Ryan and Rich, uh, started SP chat, uh, probably about 2015, I think is when we started it. Uh, I got lucky that I just kind of caught on. Uh, I was at a time when PE chat was a little dormant and they just wanted to get something going for them to talk and to get going. And I started attending some of the earlier sessions when it was literally four people showing up every week. And uh, they asked me to be a moderator not too long after that. So it's been quite the experience uh, from, I have no idea what I'm doing on Twitter to being a moderator. And uh, it's a really great way to share and to meet with professionals. I know um, it's been invaluable to me, but I know that there's other people that have reached out and said, um, this has saved my career. And that's really cool to hear. Um, and then one year when both of them were on paternity leave and I had the run of the house a little bit, um, I actually uh, started a phys ed summit, which is how I actually met Jason. There, And we just kind of, I just kind of said, you know what, you you guys aren't here. I'm going to do this. I'm going to take care of it. And uh, we've done it uh, three times now. So we're starting to think about number four, at least I am. Uh, and we'll start to get people together and figure out dates and things. And uh, it's just a really great opportunity to share. And I would encourage anybody, if you're just feeling like an island, uh, Twitter is an easy place to get rid of that feeling. And one week, uh, one hour a week, just show up at uh, eight o'clock Eastern time and try to meet with some other teachers and get ideas and share and don't just lurk in the background. I think that uh, we've heard that before. Uh, I want to say Justin, who you had on the show a few weeks ago, uh, talked about changing from being a consumer to a producer. Uh, and that's a really big thing that I think a lot of us need to do is to understand that we all have a voice and we all have something important to share. And, we just need to be willing to step out and to, to be bold in doing it. 
Awesome. Bold. I heard that. Fantastic. All right. Well, we've, we've come to that part of the show where uh, it's, it's time to sign off. I know that this isn't California love, but, but we had to add the old time TV music, talk show music into it. So uh, Matthew Bassett, thank you so much for joining us on episode three. Again, ladies and gentlemen, join us next week as we've got an Australian mate for week four or episode four of Let's Talk Phys Ed. As always, thank you, Tanner. Thank you, Matt. And I'm hey, Matthew. Thank you, guys. <laughs>